Welcome. Come on in. Oh my gosh. Good to see you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Well, thank you for inviting me. I wasn't expecting all the glorious smell. Is it the fruit? Or, I don't really get it. Are the flowers in bloom? What are these smells? Yes. Thank you. These pictures on the wall, what are they made out of? How are they made? Like, I don't, I've never seen anything like this. They almost look like sketches, but they're fine lines. So are they just ink? The colors of your walls and the posters on them and so unique and lovely. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Of course, Ms. Cassatt said you're an amazing artist. I always like to see what the youth are up to these days. It was a chance meeting at the coffee bar. I'm so grateful to her. She said I must see you. Again, thank you so much for letting me come on such late notice. Mary let me know how valuable your time is. Mary is wonderful, isn't she? I love the way she paints faces as if they're smiling at me. It's as if I know them. Oh, you're not you're not familiar with my work then. Oh, awesome. Seeing so, you know, a woodblock print from Japan then either. This is great. Come on. It's crazy, but not too long ago, these were just considered basically tissue paper. What do you think? I really don't know what to think. They have depth, but they're also flat, like almost like a cartoon or a character. Uh, they have a lot of color, but there's like almost too much white, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of white, but they are still alive. Like I feel like you could see them, but I have no idea why. A lot of opposites, really. I think we'll both have fun here. I haven't met anyone who didn't know my work for quite some time. It feels very refreshing. Well, uh, before we get started, I'm afraid we don't have a ton of time. I have a dinner with my partners in crime tonight. I hope you can forgive me if I have to shoo you out at a certain time. I'm very excited about the dinner. You being here will make the interim pass that much faster. I appreciate this serendipity. If Ms. Cassatt were to be able to make it, I'd have invited you as well. But your youth, gender, and being American would take over the entire dinner. <laughs> we have to prepare for a huge show and need every moment. Please don't speak of this harshly in America. Sir Monet, please, not another word about it. I'm leaving my train tonight, and so I'm, I'm in a rush as well. I have lots of <laughs> studios and artists to see for my patron. You're not the only one, so I'm so glad you could squeeze me in, and I would never dream of intruding on your crime dinner. Well then, hold on to your reins. You are in for a lot of color, emotions, impressions, and thrills. Well, let's start the tour then. I usually show the entire home since it's a rare piece of art in and of itself. The history of this house is quite long. It used to be a winery. I appreciate wine greatly. Nothing finer than a well thought out and expertly prepared meal and a good wine. I have played with the colors of the walls and haven't stuck with one for very long. Well, except my bedroom. I hope we have time to see that. Take a look around. The prints are incredible. Notice how they view things from the side, from below, from above, close up, and down. They play with your views. The Japanese think these are trash, yet they inspire all of us who've made a name for ourselves in Paris. Is it cheating? <laughs> no. We are being inspired to look at our ho-hum locations differently. The Japanese look at us funny when they realize that we look at their common souvenirs as treasure. I think they're idiots for not realizing how uncommon it is. Do you get me, Priscilla? Do you understand the balance? Do you mean those three panels? What is going on with that? I don't even understand how they capture that view. Where are they coming from? That is what I'm saying. It is impossible to know if they have a cliff nearby that they can look down on. Did the artist walk up there and sketch it outside to get it? Is it accurate or did someone tell him about it? And he imagined it. As was he fucking cold? Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Pardon my English. <laughs> Fire feels good. 
It gets so blasted cold in here sometimes. Look at the clouds outside. Spring brings us unusual weather. <laughs> <laughs> it brings us unusually stupid animals as well. But that's a good omen. The bird obviously took on our bad luck. <laughs> Now look at these two prints. Did you see? Did you see Priscilla? Uh huh. One is during the day and one is at night. Mm. They didn't carve the blocks and then reuse ah. them. They can't. Ah. ah. He is a mysterious one and is very playful. Be careful not to sit on him. He tends to appear in unlikely places. Mm. Hey! What the hell is going on with the herbs? They are moldy. You better not use them in tonight's dinner. Last time we had moldy herbs, Degas told all of Paris what bumpkins we are. I refuse to give that asshole more ammunition. Off to the greenhouse to get more herbs. Okay, fine. Not sure why you're pissy at me. I'm the one that has to deal with the embarrassment. Figure it out. Okay, that's fine. He won't quit. It's a little game we play. <laughs> ah, let's keep going. I think you'll love the next room. It's our playroom. So many fun things. It's probably my favorite room in the whole house. You know what? At least I don't feel guilty about missing this morning's light. I was on a trip a few weeks ago, and I was painting away, and then suddenly a huge wave out of nowhere came and grabbed me, tumbled and polished me, and then left me like a floater. When I was in the wave, I mean water churning everywhere, I thought that was it. I was cooked fish. I don't think Alice knows how close it was. My paints, box, and canvases certainly had to go and get repaired. It's funny how I remember it fondly now, but it was... I was so scared. I thought I was going to poop my pantaloons. The ocean will never tell that secret. <laughs> oh great, it's starting to rain. Zeus is fighting the good fight. The only time I get to feel like Zeus or any other god is when I'm pushing that game piece around on that game table. I'm usually a lesser god though in the end. Are you a better or worse god if you let your grandchildren win? <laughs> This is Hokusai's work. It is rumored by the Japanese that his daughter did these. It may be so, since these two look completely different than the rest. I like them, but they're almost too much. Not the wave one, but the mountain one. The wave one reminds me of the wave that tumbled me. <laughs> Do you see this glow? I'll shake it for you. They had it at the World Expo in Paris. Have you ever seen anything like it? I love it. The feeling of snow on the Eiffel, such a beautiful bridge structure. Honestly, I'm surprised Calibet hasn't painted it yet. This print is probably one of my all-time favorites. What is he flying, and is it from a myth? He's magical and real, but I have no idea if they have birds over there that he could be flying like that. This is a photograph. It's of my beautiful garden. Our first show was at Nadar's photography studio. Such an amazing play space he had. Water falling down the walls, beating onto a rock. Imagination. That man was insane with imagination. Many people don't like that it's black and white. That the world is colored. It isn't right. But you know, I disagree. I love the black and white because it helps me to see where the light is and I can fill in the color. I want to add the color myself. My muse and my mistress is color and we dance with the light. Does that sound corny? It was a glorious gift to my friends and I. The photograph and these Japanese prints are my inspiration mystery. Why was I born at such a time to be able to make my art in this way and live in such a glorious place? I'm but a plaything to the gods I've made in the end. In 
in the end, I am no god. Wait, does that mean you just copy directly from the photographs and then you make your art from them? That really seems like cheating. I thought you were plain air artists or something. No, that is not cheating. Even if I traced that photo exactly, my hand made those lines. My eyes chose that color. My mind mixed everything together and chose that view. So would the printmaker in Japan be cheating if he didn't imagine it and took it from real life? No. All artists are cheats then by your logic. Silly girl. Oh god, I was so sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to imply that you were literally a cheat. The more that I've been really hard on my own self and trying to understand my own art. I I you know, in school, I copy the masters, but to what end? You know, to just copy their colors and technique? When does it become my own voice, my own art? So this is at the top of my head. One of the reasons Mary even recommended me to visit you, besides choosing pieces for my patron, is that you all see things so differently, that you sacrifice the world of art for the way you see. But I now know that you were inspired by Japanese artist photography. I just didn't know how to feel about it, you know? I thought it was magical and a secret technique, but now it's always just kind of copying and changing a little. You really aren't smart or mature, are you? Why did Mary send you to me? Have you looked at the colors of my work? I mean, really looked? <laughs> but you haven't seen them, have you? You think you know because your ears have heard about them, but your eyes haven't seen them. Your eyes will be smacked in the face with my colors, and then you will see. Then you will see. Then you will see. But I have seen one. It was crude and childish. It was a haystack in the summer. And frankly, it was just okay. I like the color. And it was pleasant to look at, I admit. But I don't get what the fuss is about. Mary sent me here so I could understand and pick out a couple for my patron. Do not yell at me. I appreciate this tour, but maybe it should end now. What do you mean pick out a couple? Oh, you mean purchase. You're doing this trip to purchase for your patron? I guess I didn't understand your word patron. That being the case, I will continue the tour. Please open your mind. First impressions <laughs> are not always what we're after. Mm. Let's start again. This flower by Hiroshige is a garden chalice. With what you were talking about in the dining room. This tea caddy was my late wife's. It is very special to me. It's the only thing I have of hers that we use. Camille was the first love of my life. But Alice loved her as a sister and as jealous like one too. It is complicated. Why are the women in my life always so complicated? I didn't know you were married previously. What happened to her? Everyone loved Camille, sometimes to a fault. She was beautiful and joyful and was wild with abandon. Every painter wanted to paint her. I know it wasn't just because of her beauty. Beauty is common, but her life force was extraordinary. She got sick, very sick. At first I thought she was just being dramatic. We were young, stupid and poor. My parents wouldn't help me. None of us had money except the fool that went off and got himself killed at war. To think, the one guy with money is the only one that didn't run away with us. He was a great painter, a damned waste too. I sometimes wonder if us being poor killed her. I don't think money would have saved her, but I don't think it would have occurred at all if we didn't have the constant stress of drumbeat. They used to call me the beggar. Pride has no place when your love is losing health. Without Alice there, I don't know what we'd have done. Isn't Alice your wife? You knew her then and your late wife knew her too at the same time? <sighs> yes, Alice lived with us when she and her husband split. I was against it at first, but oh. Alice was sent as an angel. I grew to love her during that time. No. We were both trying to get our best friend to be comfortable and live out her last days being taken care of. We were her best friends then. That is all I'm going to say about that. Uh, where is Alice? I'd love to meet her. Is she upstairs? She might be. There are many entrances and exits to the home. She was in Paris yesterday and was taking a nap earlier. 
She hates our dinners, so she's probably over at the guest house. Who knows? Alice, are you there? Guess not. And here it is. My favorite room in the whole house. Isn't it glorious? My god, it truly is. Everything is so different. This is like a museum. Are they from different people? They look like they're from different minds. These are the best of the best of anyone who has ever inspired and or taught me. I love these pieces, and I look at them as I wake up, when I have tea in the afternoon, and when I go to sleep. These are my masterpieces. Oh. Renoir will hardly let me buy any more because he knows I will bring it up here. He thinks I'm hiding it. <laughs> what a fool. I am studying it. You are one of the few who get to see this. Mm. I don't usually bring people up here to see these pieces. I haven't decided why I have brought you up here yet. No, no, no. You are far too young for me to have an interest. The last person I brought up here was Ms. Cassatt. And now she has one on my wall. I guess I think you may be inspired in the same vein. Anyway, your innocence also leads me to impress you with how amazing these people are. Look at this painting. The light, the shapes, the delicate strokes. It looks like no time at all was spent, but I know. I know how long. This painting, the true masterpiece of the room, the one that bedevils me, the colors, the strokes, and the emotion conveyed, and not a face is showing. I could never. Alice calls this room my insecurity room. She may be right. Notice how the women capture the energy of the women in the shots. The women painters make their subjects come alive, as if they were just giggling with you. Were they friends? Probably by the end. It has almost made me curious as to why most of the men painters' art models look distant or unattainable. Maybe because they are to the artist. I have had a hard time painting models since Camille. She was life. <clears throat> Claude, are you in the bedroom? It's a shit young thing, Claude. You know the people will talk if they found out. Trish has been bad enough since she said the ceramic cat is more likable than Father Antonio. He's been surly ever since. You should have never said it to his face. I'm going to check out the dinner, and then I'm heading out. Don't scare the child. Ah, uh, my favorite place to paint. I love that boat. How much laughter can an open-air studio hold? I giggle the moment I get on it, but yet it's just a boat. How do objects change our mood when in contact with them? I'm sure I'll never know. Here we must see this book together. It is the height of my Japanese print collection. This Hokusai has gone on a trip, a pilgrimage of an old road, and looked at their wise old mountain from different vantage points. Their mountain is human and is also a god. It reminds me of the Greek pantheon. Their people walk this road like we walk our pilgrimages from church to church. Look at the seasons. Why haven't we captured these moments? Are there diaries out there like this that we will never know? I worship that mountain through this book just the same, I'm sure. I am in love with that mountain, so clean. Has that mountain inspired all of their art? It is gorgeous and rugged, but looks delicate, reserved and majestic without a word. I ramble. We must go. Let us go see my studio. Since you have only seen the one painting of mine, you may be surprised to see the other pieces I've kept. It is a gallery of sorts. But first, why don't you go peek in the toilet and take a look around? I'll wait out here. Shoo shoo, it's worth seeing. Here we are. You didn't know that my celebrated studio was behind that door the whole time, did you? If you must sit down, there are chairs all around the room. <laughs>
Ah, uh, Sir Rene, I would very much like to see where you work. Thank you for showing me. Please don't be upset, though, if I don't need to sit down. I've been brought up in the tradition of not showing emotion, so it's very rare that I do. This isn't where I work any longer. I have two other studios. Well, one and a half. The Orangerie studio should be done shortly. This is the gallery that pays for my new studio. <laughs> if I show the gallery to people, they usually understand and are then eager to be in the light and perhaps feel lighter from their coin. <laughs> this is the most beautiful art I have ever seen. I told you! I told you! How does the one haystack, the one piece I've seen before, glow just as bright as all the other pieces in the room? When it didn't, when it was on its own, I don't, I don't get it. It's as if you concentrate the light into every color and work. And they, I don't, it sparkles, but there's no sparkle. It's overwhelming. I wasn't expecting that. It's like the colors come through you. I've never been moved like this. I, I don't, why am I crying? I came here wondering what all this fuss was, why Mary was like, you have to go. But I leave here not knowing how to describe it. What shall I do? People are going to think I am crazy. I do not know myself, sweet Priscilla. For if I did, I would bottle it. Not everyone reacts like you do. I'd say about 75% of people who enjoy art react like this. Some pretend to act like the people who brought them here. I do not know what magic it is that affects some but not others. I knew that once you started liking the Japanese print, you would start to see my own work as beautiful too. To what extent, I wasn't sure, but I'm glad you were truly affected. Light is contagious. Speaking of contagious, do you think your patron would be similarly affected? <laughs> sure he has been. It was her painting that I had seen. She sent me here to pick out three or four for a museum in America. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to find any. How interesting life is, right? I thought you were a cheater at first, and perhaps, maybe you still are, but your work hit my heart with love. So, who cares, I guess? Sincerely, thank you for letting me come here. Mary saw my issue well. She wanted me to be hit over the head, and I guess I am. <laughs> Somehow, I just, I can only pick four. Well, 95% of these are spoken for. Pick out four that you enjoy, and I will find similar for you to choose from the studio. Also, if you tell me what times of day you enjoy, I may have them as well, or I will paint you some. That kind of excuse to paint is a welcome gift. I haven't much time. The guests are arriving. I'm glad you're getting a chance to see my own moon bridge. Fred has already packaged and will be mailing the canvases you chose. You chose well, Priscilla. Not everyone understands what they must all look good together. That is the only thing I know for sure to influence the magic effect. Thank you so much for having me, Sir Mene. I will never be the same. You've elevated me to my patron, but you've also elevated a feeling I didn't know it existed. Thank you. Ah, but you see, that is what my bedroom and the Japanese prints do for me. Magic is so elusive and unexplainable. Paul, oh, Vincent have this magic. Shh, but don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs>